Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And some good coverage there by the kick team as they'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Come on, let's go! One, and he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Here we go! They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he's got his man. That's Landry. A gain of eight and a first down. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. In a tough spot to get it over the middle. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. And here come the Bills. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. So the offense avoids disaster, keeps possession. Now it's second down. Single, single, single. Here we go! Brian 38! Brian 38! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to look deep now for Landry. They've got his man complete! And that one results in 35 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. A host of Bills there that time to make the stop. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Let's go! One! On second down, it's Drake. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Out of the gun now on third down. Finding time. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Landry there, and it's fourth down. 
But partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane and they batted it away on a third down attempt. And the 12 year veteran knocks it right through and they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So a good kick there, and they wrap up the drive by putting three on the board. And you know, let's face it, you're not always going to come away with six. Defense in the NFL are just too good. But you've got to come away with something. And there, they get three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Bills. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. Play fake here on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this one is incomplete. Certainly some contact there, and that's why there's a penalty on the defender for pass interference. So hard to time it up for a defender to hit the receiver when the ball arrives. Got there a little bit early on that one. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. A couple of Dolphins in on the stop. Back now in Miami. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Let's go. Three and Three and On second down, Lynch. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defender's going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. May be an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short game down to about the 33. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And Parkey's kick is good. And that will make this now a 15 point advantage. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give them some breathing room and lets them build up a little cushion. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Jarvis Landry now on the return. <laughs> and out come the Dolphins now. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game 
are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Looking for Stills here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And to give this time to the tailback. Trucks throw him. Oh, man. Right through it. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They come out here in the eye. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. Lynch now throwing on third, and that is incomplete. The intended receiver was Laquan Treadwell. Now fourth down. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. And Parkey's kick is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point. Being three scores down, I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And the Dolphins offense now ready to go back out on the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they can do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Again, we'll see the pistol here. A handoff out of the pistol. It's Drake. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two. Now third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help.
And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession.